Hi, I'm Kate Young, and you're listening to This is Purdue, the official podcast for Purdue University. As a Purdue alum and Indiana native, I know firsthand about the family of students and professors who are in it together, persistently pursuing and relentlessly rethinking. Who are the next game changers, difference makers, ceiling breakers, innovators? Who are these boilermakers? Join me as we feature students, faculty, and alumni taking small steps toward their giant leaps and inspiring others to do the same. Ready to roll. My job is quite cool. I'm fully aware of this. I've interviewed Olympic athletes, Mars scientists, and of course we have a few more Purdue icons being featured on This is Purdue in the coming months. But this project... The work that went into creating this episode, well, this is one I'll never forget. I guess I should go back to the beginning, though. In May, Purdue University came up with a creative plan to encourage students to get vaccinated as part of the Protect Purdue initiative, the old golden ticket vaccination drawing. The prize, the golden ticket, $9,992 the equivalent of a year's undergraduate tuition cost for an in-state Boilermaker since 2013, and 10 lucky Boilermakers who submitted valid proof that they were fully vaccinated against COVID-19 by July 15th would win that golden ticket. The drawing was open to current and admitted students enrolled for the fall 2021 semester on the West Lafayette campus. All undergraduate, graduate, and professional degree-seeking students, regardless of residency, were eligible to enter and win. And so here we are. This episode highlights the -the behind-the-scenes details of the Purdue Marketing and Communications team pulling off these ultimate surprises from finding students on campus to crossing state lines to getting families in on the celebration. Really? Gathering the 10 winners and figuring out how we would talk to them without spoiling this massive surprise was complex, to say the least. The other issue, we had less than a week to pull this off, so we got to work immediately. We'll start at the beginning. Our first winner was actually fairly easy to track down. He happened to be part of Purdue's Summer Start a five-week summer module designed to jumpstart students' college careers. He also picked up on my very first phone call. This, this was huge. So what was our ruse? I simply asked the student if he was interested in being interviewed on the This Is Purdue podcast. And he said, sure. We organized a surprise on a Friday at the Engineering Fountain, and it was just another casual 90-degree humid summer day in Indiana. I met Quentin Betts, of Indianapolis, Indiana, outside of his math class, and we walked together to the fountain. Before he knew it, he was greeted with a crowd of people holding balloons, the Purdue fight song blaring from the Boilermaker special, and Purdue Pete holding an old golden ticket. How are you feeling right now? (laughs) Uh, A little shocked, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so you're a surprise? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Quentin is heading into his freshman year at Purdue and is studying finance. He also attended Purdue Polytechnic High School in Indianapolis. Commonly referred to as PPHS, this high school was created to build new K-12 pathways that lead to Purdue, especially for Indiana students who are underserved by traditional high schools and underrepresented in higher education. If you haven't checked out our PPHS episode with Principal Shatoya Ward, Please go back and listen to that after you're done with this episode. Quentin tells us about his time at PPHS. Ultimately, I'm glad I went there. Uh, I did a lot of things that uh, put me out of my comfort zone, um, made me a better person. I did football, all types of sports. Ultimately, I'm going to be going to Purdue, and I love the school. So I spent like a summer here before. Yeah, it was That's kind of like convinced me to go to college. Like I thought about um, enlisting before like coming here, but um, they introduced me to ROTC here, and that's kind of what, uh, what made me want to come here. So... $9,992. That's a full year of tuition in state. Well, like, what are you thinking right now? God is good. Definitely. Yeah. That's probably what I'm thinking. I didn't know. I didn't think I was going to win. Honestly, <laughs> I just kind of entered. Uh, 
kind of magic trick me. Uh, <laughs> I would have wore something better. Quentin also touches on what this tuition money would mean to his mom. She might cry. She did a lot of things for me going to college. It's probably the only reason I really came to college, to be honest with you. Like, I didn't know how to, uh, she applied for, like, FAFSA and stuff like that for me. She's been a really good influence on me. Yeah. After FaceTiming his mom during a Boilermaker special ride, he teased her. See, aren't you glad I didn't go to IU? Our next stop, Fort Wayne, Indiana, about two hours northeast of campus. This was our first time being able to surprise a student at their house. And this one was fun because this winner's parents were in on the surprise. We rang the doorbell at Isabella Peglione's house. Hi. Hi. Are you Isabella? I am. Oh, awesome. Nice to meet you. Do you mind stepping out here? Mom and dad can come out too. Thanks for agreeing to do this. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we actually have a, a special surprise for you. <laughs> do you know the old golden ticket vaccine you're I do. <laughs> you won! <laughs> <laughs> You oh, will be okay. you will be on the podcast. Tell us okay. how you're feeling. This is insane. I never thought that I would win. But that's awesome. After the shock wore off a bit, Isabella, an incoming freshman majoring in biology at Purdue, discussed the importance of the Protect Purdue initiative. Why was it important to you to get vaccinated? Oh, it was super important. Just the pandemic like hit us a lot. My dad, he was more high risk, so I had to always be super careful. So when the vaccine became available, I wanted to get it as soon as possible to keep everyone in my family protected. <laughs> and why do you think it's important for Boilermakers overall to get vaccinated and keep everyone healthy around us? Just to keep the campus safe. You know, I don't want COVID to spread through and ruin our in-person classes again. So $9,992 <laughs> in state tuition for a full year. Goodness. How does that sound to you? That's crazy. So I was always like worried about like student loans and stuff. So just having like one year covered is insane to me. <laughs> that is awesome. This was also our first reveal that involved the winner getting showered with gold confetti. That was our senior brand manager, Bailey's idea, after we bought some black and gold balloons that deflated way too quickly after our first reveal. That confetti was amazing. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> we were nervous it wasn't going to go off. <laughs> I spoke with Isabella's dad, Mark, to arrange this surprise, and he couldn't help but gush about his daughter. They were so proud of her for choosing to go to Purdue. She can do anything, he said. And when it came to Isabella getting the vaccine to keep others safe, he was proud about that, too. Yeah, I think this is awesome that Purdue is doing this. Anything that can keep <laughs> students and faculty safe, we're all for, and I'm really proud of Isabella for stepping up and taking that step. A few days later, Mark texted us. Thanks again for doing what you do and making that day one that we'll always remember. Okay, two down, eight to go. Our next winner happened to be a student who grew up in West Lafayette. Our crew surprised her at her house and I pretended that I had a special package that I needed help with. We have a special surprise. <laughs> yes, yes. No, no. delivery coming tomorrow. Make sure you look decent. <laughs> That's all I knew. I, I still just can't really believe it. Like to think of how many students are at Purdue, how many students got vaccinated and entered this and like it's me. Like that's, in that's insane to me. <laughs> Hunter Skelton, a pharmacy major who also plays the mellophone in Purdue's All-American Marching Band, is the oldest of five siblings. And this full year of in-state tuition money will go a long way for her and her family. Yeah, it means a lot. You know, I have four more years of school left and rates just went up because I'm in like graduate school now. So this means so much to me and my family. Like I'm the oldest of five. So they got, you know, my parents got a lot coming <laughs> and me too, you know. It just means a lot, you know, for starting my future and getting to where I want to be. After pulling off this surprise, we cruised around her neighborhood with her siblings in the Boilermaker special. Let's just say it wasn't a typical Tuesday morning for anyone involved. Hunter sums up the Boilermaker community perfectly. 
I love Purdue. I, you know, I'm a townie, and my whole life I was like, I'm never gonna go to Purdue. You know, like, gotta get out of here. But then once I started, you know, searching, I was like, it's just perfect. It's just everything I need. What does the Purdue community mean to you? You're in band. You know, yeah. you seem really active. You're in pharmacy. Mm -hmm. What does this community mean to you? It means a lot to me. When I say I'm a Boilermaker, like, that means a lot to me. Um, it's a big part of who I am now, and it just, this is, like, these are the times I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. You know, being in band, this moment right now, you know, pharmacy, just a lot of big moments that are impacting who I am every day, and, you know, changing, changing me who I am to be, you know, the pharmacist I hope to be someday. So it really means a lot to have this great uh, community of people around me. Straight from Hunter's house in West Lafayette, we cross the state line into Illinois with the Boilermaker Special in tow. Our next stop, <laughs> Naperville, Illinois. When I first called this student's dad, he was so thrilled to hear his son was chosen to be interviewed on the This Is Purdue podcast. Hi, Kate. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for to reach me. I'm uh, Jeremiah's dad. Uh, this is uh, with regards to the message that you left that you want to talk to him about the podcast interview. Hey, I was never really lying to anyone. This whole thing did turn into a podcast episode. We had a great chat, and the interview was set up for a Tuesday afternoon at their home. This approach was done a bit differently, though. I introduced myself and my crew, and we started the podcast interview that the student and his dad were expecting. What did you think about the Protect Purdue initiative? What did that mean to you that you were able to go to classes in person? I had heard a lot about it because even though I'm an out-of-state student, it's very close by. So I would hear a lot about it in the news, and I thought it was a really good concept to get kids to really take social distancing seriously, and it stressed the importance of social distancing as wearing masks as well. Did you get vaccinated this year? Yes, I did choose to get vaccinated, and I chose to do it mainly to protect myself from the virus and also protect my community from the virus and possible variants as well. That's great to hear. Are you familiar with the old Golden Ticket vaccine drawing? Yeah, I am familiar with the old Golden Ticket. Do you know why we're here? Um, did I happen to win one? <laughs> you won! Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. So, we actually have another special surprise for you outside. So, we're going to go on outside. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Jeremiah Montero is a sophomore in industrial engineering at Purdue. He's also interning at Flexco in Downers Grove, Illinois, over the summer. During a cruise in the special around Jeremiah's neighborhood, we discussed what the Purdue community means to him. It was great to be in person and just get to meet a lot of different people uh, from a lot of different backgrounds. There's a lot of in-state and international students as well, so it just felt like a good fit getting to meet a lot of different people on campus. And what does this tuition money mean to you? It means a lot. Obviously, out-of-state tuition is expensive, so this will definitely go a long way to helping for a year. The day we surprised Jeremiah also happened to be his grandfather's 94th birthday. After our special ride, we FaceTimed his mom and grandfather in India and took this surprise international. And to put a cherry on top of this particular visit, Jeremiah's dad, Mervin, cooked our whole team a homemade lunch. We were so touched by this. Mervin tells us how much he appreciates all of the Protect Purdue communication from the university. I think um, you, you right off the bat, like the whole thing started, um, the, the communication coming from the school, uh, the, the, the measures and, um, you know, how you take care of the students, safe enough to come back with now on campus, or you get the choice. That was good. From Naperville, we had one more surprise planned for that evening. Okay, so we hit the road again in our minivan. We've got how many of us? We got five of us in here. We just stopped in Naperville with Jeremiah and his dad, Mervin. And Jeremiah's dad made us 
lunch, like a homemade cooked lunch. And it was just so special. Team, how are you feeling? We have one more surprise to go. I am feeling great now that I have a full belly, thanks to Jeremiah's parents. We've got a few hours in the car, caravanning with the special. So uh, if you saw the special on the road, then you know where we're headed. Becky, our wonderful photographer, what do you think about our road trip so far? It's been really fun. Uh, it's It's been exciting to see the reveals and the students' reactions. We've been having fun on these trips, and it's been great. And Will, our man behind the lens, he's used to being behind the camera, but I'm going to put him on this podcast. Hello. <laughs> no, things are great. It's fun editing in the back of a van that Bailey's driving. Finding and reaching out to this student's family was quite the journey. Her mom, Marie, was really hesitant when I first called, and rightfully so. I was a stranger saying we wanted to surprise her daughter for a podcast interview. Anyway, after a quick phone call, she told me she would Google me and this podcast just to make sure. Two hours later, this email landed in my inbox. Hey, Kate, I checked the Purdue website. You are indeed real, LOL. (laughs) Here's Emily's dad, Alan, explaining what he thought of our podcast ploy. Well, you know, everybody gets a lot of yeah. goofy calls. So it's like, yeah. really? Oh, who are you, really? <laughs> From there, we went into full-on planning mode. It was our first very public surprise on the Monon Trail in Broad Ripple in Indianapolis. Hello, this is Kate. Hi, Kate. This is Marie. Hey, Marie. How are you? Okay. Driving now, so I can't text you. Anymore. Sure. Can you hear me all right? I can hear you. Yep. Can you hear me? Yeah. Great. Okay. Oh, there's a little wrinkle in my plot. Okay. So, I don't really know where Rick's ice cream is. Is it visible from the trail? Marie even emailed our team a diagram of exactly where they usually walk on the trail to help us with our setup efforts. We approached Emily Harvath, who's in her last year as a pharmacy student at Purdue, while she was on a leisurely walk with her mom. Oh what? You the old one to Are take you it. serious? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. You have your family here? Yeah, hi guys. <laughs> her dad, Alan, plus her brother and sister-in-law, both Purdue grads, were there on the Boilermaker special holding up the old golden ticket as confetti swirled in the air. Emily is currently in rotations at IU Health Methodist in Indy. She worked as a contact tracer for Protect Purdue last year, and in January, Emily helped administer some of the first COVID-19 vaccines in Indiana. Well, yeah, you can imagine, like, as a pharmacy student, vaccine advocacy is something that I'm incredibly passionate about. So (laughs) for all of this, it's been really important to me, and I've been glad that Purdue's advocating for the vaccine and everything as well. So really, like, can't talk enough about how proud I am that Purdue handled everything so well with COVID, especially since last year was my last year on campus full time. I really was thankful to be able to be back and have one last year with my friends and participating in a lot of those organizations that I'm passionate about. So I talk about it a lot and I, this is like definitely something I'm passionate about. So I'm kind of blown away that this is happening right now. (laughs) So tell us what this tuition money means to you. It's a full year of in-state tuition. I mean, after six years of school at Purdue, like it's definitely huge game changer like (laughs) it makes life a lot easier that's for sure I'm really like I don't think it's like sunk in yet right now (laughs) what does it mean that your family's here and that they were in on this that's amazing I don't know I'm excited I thought it was just regular Tuesday night going on a walk with my mom (laughs) Emily's mom Marie also expressed her appreciation about students being able to go back to school in person last year. I was so thankful that Mitch and the team put together a plan that kept school open in person. After that surprise in Indy, we hit the road again. It was time to head back to West Lafayette. Okay, we just got done with our third reveal of the day. 
It is 7.30. Have we been on the road for 12 hours? <laughs> 11 hours? Yep, just about. 11 hours. Yes. It's so fun. It feels like we're making, we're obviously making people's days, weeks, lives <laughs> with these surprises. So it feels really good. It does. Reactions have been amazing and it's just awesome to be able to just be there and to see that and broadcast it to everyone. So the suspension is still real because we have five more tickets to give out and we've logged over, well, almost a thousand miles so far. Um, so we still have a few more students to uh, surprise and we're really excited. We made it home. Did. We have posted everything for today. It's on social. It's live, and we're pulling in okay. over and out. It's our <laughs> <laughs> so our major travel day was complete. But of course, not all of our winners lived within driving distance. So on our fourth day of reveals, we set up some virtual podcast interviews in our team studio. First up, Min Kung Lee, a first year PhD student from South Korea studying industrial engineering. And we got the graduate school dean, Linda Mason, in on the surprise. I actually have a special guest here. It's Dean Mason. I want to introduce her to you, and um, she's going to just chat with you really quick. Okay. Hi, Min. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Thanks for having the opportunity to chat with us about Protect Purdue. We're really pleased that you were vaccinated. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to share my experience. Yeah, the vaccination is really important, we know, so that you can have the normal part of Purdue, right, that you want for the fall and for all of us. Well, I think you probably are familiar with all the things that go on at Protect Purdue, and one of them was for the students to upload their vaccination card that they had, right, so that we would all know who's vaccinated and you uploaded your vaccination card. So thank you so much for doing that. We really appreciate it. And I just wanted to let you know that guess what? Wow. <laughs> wow. Really? You're going to get a check for $9,990. Wow. Congratulations. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect it. <laughs> We're so wow. excited for you, and we hope that this will help you with all the things associated with graduate school and expenses, and really appreciate your efforts for going above and beyond and getting vaccinated and protecting all of us at Purdue and all the students in your lab and your professors and all that. So congratulations. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, glad you're surprised. That's the whole point. <laughs> so what are your thoughts? Well, I didn't expect it, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, then the surprise worked. <laughs> Min was so incredibly shocked and thankful. So actually, after the COVID pandemic, my dad lost job. My family is not supporting anymore. So I've been having some financial issues. It means a lot to me. It truly never got old changing these students' lives with these $9,992 old golden tickets. After Min, we had two more virtual reveals. Saria Salem, a sophomore from Plano, Texas, is a computer science major and Cranert School of Management minor. We had College of Science Dean Patrick Wolf join us for this surprise. Why do you think it was important to get vaccinated and to help protect, you know, fellow students? professors? I think the sooner everyone gets vaccinated, the sooner we can return to like a normal state of business. It also helps like people meeting others as well as their teachers so they actually like interact with the teachers rather than sending them a message on like Zoom or other forms of classes. I agree. I actually have some news for you. You're the winner. <laughs> oh, really? Yep, really. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you so much. How do you feel? Are you surprised? I, yes, I, I did not expect to win. So really help with a lot of things. Yeah. What does this tuition money mean to you? It'll help ease some of the burden on my parents. I know they're helping me through with college. So this will mean a lot to them. And I'm also trying to make my own money so that after college, I can 
hopefully pay them back. So, Sir, yeah, congratulations and thank you, you know, not just for helping to protect Purdue, but for undertaking this and the, for the general benefit of public health. We're very, very grateful and very proud of everything that everyone at Purdue has done. After Saria and Dean Wolf discussed what he wanted to do after graduation and got a little networking in. Give me a call sometime. We can get lunch. I have a friend who went to work for one of their competitors and is heading up their program. So uh, I'm happy to chat with you offline about it. I mean, it's a hugely exciting area. Saria told me about one of his favorite memories from his time at Purdue so far. There was one time where me and my friends, we, as initiation into our friend group, we had this really spicy ramen that we got. And it was like the two times spicy. We had people eat like a whole bowl and like try to finish it in under a minute. And they couldn't drink milk or anything for like five minutes after. So they would just be like rolling on the ground trying to like not pass out from the spiciness. Okay, so I won't be participating in this spicy ramen contest, but it was fun to hear more about his experiences at Purdue. Our final virtual reveal of the day was Kaylee Cook from Mainville, Ohio. She's an incoming freshman majoring in engineering. In-person learning is super important, especially with like your first time experience. My mom's a teacher, so we talk all the time about how the learning experience online is so different and how the academic curve of online versus in-person and being able to get help from the teachers and the people and being able to talk face-to-face, -face, it's a total difference in the education. And why did you choose to get vaccinated? I got vaccinated just because I care about protecting the people around me. One of my neighbors is a leukemia survivor, so they can't get the vaccine. Being able to protect those I love and care about is really important to me. That's awesome. I actually have a special surprise for you. Are you aware of the old golden ticket vaccination drawing? Yes. You won! <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm oh my gosh. Kid. You won $9,992. <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you. Kaylee's reaction was so genuine. Are you surprised? Um, yes, very, very <laughs> surprised. <laughs> That's the goal. That's the goal. What does this tuition money mean to you as an incoming freshman? Well, especially as a freshman, I haven't really had a chance to start really saving for college and having this opportunity to like towards some of my books or my tuition is really, really important. Gosh, I'm still in shock. <laughs> <laughs> Purdue was already the top of my list and this just makes it so much like you guys are my favorite people. <laughs> Kaylee says she's looking forward to meeting new friends and starting this new chapter of life at Purdue this fall. Now it's time to clean up the studio and head to our last in-person reveal, which is truly bittersweet. All right, we are on day four of our reveals. We have had four reveals today. And we are living off caffeine. I would say that's safe to say, right? Yes. And candy. And candy. We've had some Starburst, some Sour Patch Kids. Starburst. Swept a lot of confetti. <laughs> yes, lots of confetti. Um, today we did some virtual ones. And that was really fun. We had a couple deans in on the surprise. So that was a special element to add. And now we are heading to our last in-person one. It's kind of bittersweet because this has been so fun. Yeah, I'm really excited to see this student's reaction tonight. We've got his family in on the surprise. They're coming from out of town from Illinois to uh, surprise their son for dinner and be a part of the special reveal. So really looking forward to that. Our social media manager, Ashley, explains what it was like to be live posting these incredible photos and videos on Purdue's social media channels throughout these surprise reveals. You don't normally get to be present for all of the cool stuff that you post on our social media channel. Yes, that's very true. It was awesome to be here. I can't imagine doing this not being present with everything that had to happen on the fly and all the information that we were able to get and just feeding off of the excitement that we've all been feeling and the people that we've been revealing to, the winners of the golden ticket and the excitement that they've had has been awesome being able to meet them and the families and stuff. 
we headed off to surprise Alex Vusco, a mechanical engineering student from New Lenox, Illinois. I had left a few voicemails on Alex's parents' cell phones before I heard anything. You guys were funny on the phone, the way you tried to, like, <laughs> kind of tell us, but not really tell us. It was cute. We had to tip off Alex's parents about this surprise, but they were excited to help us plan. Hey, Kate, this is Dan Busco when you talk to Alex. We found out he, we can meet you Wednesday at 530. I think you guys can probably pick the location. So we had Alex's girlfriend lead him out of his on-campus apartment, thinking he would be grabbing a casual dinner with his parents. Seriously. <laughs> 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 Tell us how you feel. I kind of don't believe it. Like, what are the odds, man? Really, it's like one of the odds. <laughs> 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 we did it. <laughs> I don't know how to react. I physically don't know how to move my body right now. I don't know how to react. Alec is part of GEAR, Global Engineering Alliance of Research and Education. And he explains why being in person last year at Purdue was so important to him. I personally learned much better in person, so that was very, very nice. And just being in person, it's always great to see everyone else's faces and gives a more community feel, you know? Here's Alex's mom, Lisa, weighing in on the Purdue community. It's funny because he's our second to go to college, and when he came here to look at the school for the first time, I remember I texted Dan and I said he's definitely going. It was such a fit for him. It was the community, it was the students, the professors, it was the perfect fit for him. After the surprise, Alex's parents and girlfriend took a Boilermaker special ride, complete with the mini monster from Silver Dipper. And last but certainly not least, we had our 10th winner revealed virtually as this student lives in the UK with her family. Hi, I'm so sorry for not responding sooner. I really, like, I thought it was a scam at first because I've gotten, like, a lot of things that are like, hey, can you respond to this? And I didn't realize I should have looked it up. I'm sorry. So as you heard, Nanadi Krishna thought my emails and phone calls were spam. And we can't blame her. We're happy we finally got a hold of her. She's a junior computer engineering major who would like to go into software engineering after she graduates from Purdue. She tells us what this tuition money means to her. It's, it's a lot of money. It's going to pay for like a lot of my tuition, obviously. Um, I'm an international student, so that helps like a lot. Wow. What a whirlwind. Throughout these reveals, I couldn't count how many people mentioned what an amazing job that I have. And they're right. Getting texts from parents about how special we made their kids feel, witnessing tears from the winners, seeing the utter shock, it made everything so worth it. But it wasn't just me. Yes, I was hosting and I had the honor of revealing the surprise to the winners. But Bailey, Ashley, Becky, and Will, the Wonka crew, they were right there next to me, driving our rented minivan, popping the gold confetti, operating the drone, grabbing that perfect candid photo, and so much more. This crew made delivering life-changing tickets to 10 Boilermaker students sweeter than Charlie's chocolate bar. Check out the videos of our winners. Trust us, you'll want to see these reactions on Purdue's YouTube channel. Just head over to purdue.university slash winners. That's purdue.university slash winners. Thanks for listening to This is Purdue. For more information on this episode, visit our website at purdue.edu slash podcast. There you can head over to your favorite podcast app to subscribe and leave us a review. And as always, boiler up. <laughs>